Greetings, everybody. Get your King James Bible and turn to Ezekiel 42. We're still talking about Ezekiel's temple. This is Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries. John 8, 12, you know the rest. Verse 1. Ezekiel 42, verse 1. Then he brought me forth into the utter court, the way toward the north, and he brought me into the chamber that was over against the separate place, and which was before the building toward the north. Before the length of an hundred cubits was the north door, and the breadth was fifty cubits. Over against the twenty cubits, which were for the inner court, and over against the pavement, which was for the utter court, was gallery against gallery in three stories. And before the chambers was a walk of ten cubits breadth inward, a way of one cubit, and their doors toward the north. Now the upper chambers were shorter, for the galleries were higher than these, than the lower, and than the middlemost of the building. For they were in three stories, but had not pillars as the pillars of the courts. Therefore the building was straightened more than the lowest, and the middlemost from the ground. And the wall that was without over against the chambers toward the utter court on the fore part of the chambers, the length thereof was length length thereof was fifty cubits. For the length of the chambers that were in the utter court was fifty cubits, and lo before the temple were an hundred cubits. And from under these chambers was the entry on the east side, as one goeth into them from the utter court. The chambers were in the thickness of the wall of the court toward the east, over against the separate side, I'm sorry, over against the separate place, and over against the building. And the way before them was like the appearance of the chambers, which were toward the north, as long as they and as broad as they and all their goings out were both according to their fashions and according to their doors and according to the doors of the chambers that were toward the south was a door in the head of the way even the way directly before the wall toward the east as one entereth into them then said he unto me the north chambers and the south chambers, which are before the separate place, they be holy chambers. They be holy chambers where the priests that approach unto the Lord shall eat the most holy things. There shall they lay the most holy things and the meat offerings and the sin offerings and the trespass offering, for the place is holy. And this has really been confusing to many people because they said, you know, wait a minute, I thought Christ did away with the Levitical sacrifices. Well, for those that are in Christ, born of the Spirit, yes. But like I've mentioned in the previous study, this is not for those that are born of the Spirit. These are for those that have been given a chance to grow up and make a choice. Will you serve the Lord or serve the devil? Verse 14. When the priests enter therein, then shall they not go out of the holy place into the utter court, but there they shall lay their garments and wherein they minister, for they are holy and shall put on other garments and shall approach to those things which are for the people. Now when he had made an end of measuring the inner house, he brought me forth toward the gate, whose prospect is toward the east and measured it round about. He measured the east side with the measuring reed, 
500 reeds with the measuring reed roundabout. You measure the north side, 500 reeds with the measuring reed roundabout. He measured the south side, 500 reeds with the measuring reed. He turned about to the west side and measured 500 reeds with the measuring reed. He measured it by the four sides. It had a wall roundabout 500 reeds long and 500 broad to make a separation, to make a separation between the sanctuary and the profane place. And this is the end of Ezekiel 42. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen.